Uh, and good evening. Now, I don't normally do, uh, I don't normally, well, it's not live, it, it's a recording, uh, but we are, I've got a couple of guests, guests on with me tonight. Uh, it is going to be a recording that will go on to YouTube. Uh, but we're just having a bit of a catch up, really, and a play with StreamYard as well, because uh, there's, there's obviously different, uh, different things that I can do on StreamYard. Uh, just tried to make in the viewing experience better. One thing that uh, you've got at the moment is me on a big screen, hopefully. My camera's going to be back to front. That's my right hand in real life, but it's showing as my left hand. Uh, and I've got Paul, James and Trev on with me as well tonight. Uh, I'm just going to add a little ticky banner uh, like that. Uh, I've changed the style of the screen as well. You should be able to see a bit of orange in top and bottom corner. And down at the bottom, we've got a black ticker, Club Vlog and Chat. It's obviously not Club Vlog today, because today is Saturday, the sometime in March, isn't it, chaps? So, a very quick introduction. Uh, we've got Trev uh, chilling out at home on his settee. Good evening, Trev. Good evening. Uh, and we've got, uh, we've got James on as well in his man cave. James has been out today. Uh, and Good we've evening. got badass biker uh, Paul down in your bottom left-hand corner. So Good evening, just, everybody. Thank you very much, love. So we are just having a play. It's funny because we've been chatting for the last half an hour and I've been like, hud up, you know, rolling a tab and just sort of like sat here and nodding along. And as soon as I press that go live button, I'm like, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something oh. just... Uh, Something just can I obviously... can I can I just ask if if you if you if you if you not got your hood up, I'm taking it you bought a gas bottle. No. <laughs> tight. You tight, man. You no, really uh, are tight. Me 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 yeah, so obviously that is uh, that's really really cold. Uh, clicking on the comments. <laughs> my thermometer's frozen. Yeah, my thermometer's frozen, mate. So we're just having a little bit of a catch up. I'm going to start. So <coughs> today is my chuffing lanyards broke on my glasses as well. So I've had to super glue my lanyard together, and it's it's really weird because normally. I'm used to sort of like, oh, I think it might work, you know. I have, be, being a modeler, I do have super glue, don't I? So I'm hoping I can just do this because I'm used to pulling my glasses back up over my neck. So today is, it is the 9th. It's the 9th of March. Uh, no, no. Like I said, we'll just have right. a little bit of catch up. Mark, Mark. What? Right, hold on. All right. Can we all wish my wife a happy birthday? Very much so. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, love. What's her name? <laughs> Margaret. Margaret, good uh, happy, Good evening. Happy birthday, <laughs> Margaret, for today? For today, yeah. For today. Uh, 21 again with a little bit of VAT. Much love and happy, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Make a day. Oh, oh. <laughs> but actually, before we get on to uh, before uh, we, we I, I don't know how long I've got before we do actually move on, uh, I've put a little bit of an intro on today. Uh, love a little bit of a comment, a bit of feedback about that, definitely because I've been playing on my phone all day. Uh, apart from going and buying a new garage door, don't even need to know about that. Doing three or four loads of washing, looking after George, taking him up to his mates, making our last of tea. Sitting in here, having a tidy up, drinking whiskey, smoking tabs, etc. etc. So, comments first about that. Second one is I am actually doing a one in 72. I'll, I'll start a one in 72 airfix red arrow, and it is a bit of a commission build. Uh, and I'm up so so that side you can see is totally blank, uh, but that side has got where's my camera. That side has got the decal on it. What an absolute ball ache that was. Solon set. I could have bought brand new bottles for that. 
because it's taken that much. After that, I'm still considering moving on with this blackjack. However, I must admit, and I'm just going to change my camera over just for a second uh, into this one because, uh, unfortunately, it's been that long since uh, I bought uh, the Revel Euro Finder. Uh, and, and I did watch my video back, and I've not actually explained that the decals in the cockpit, you can't see, but the decals in the cockpit are, are absolutely naff. But I am chipping on with that. <laughs> and then I did get my MAS 563568 about a week ago, and me and Paul and James were all biting at the bit to start that. Uh, but obviously, I can't start mine yet because I'm in between projects. So, Paul's got a project that's uh, a lot bigger than ours. We'll get to Paul in a minute. Trev, you've not done much in the much uh, building, uh, modelling lately, have you? You've been poorly. Yeah, I've been off with my leg. I've had a new knee fitted, so rest and recovery. Mm -hmm. Rest and recovery. <clears throat> Happy days. Paul is in the middle of... Uh, what What are you in the middle of, Paul? Moving bloody house. Moving <laughs> bloody house. Paul's in the <laughs> middle of moving house, which means, obviously, can't do a lot of modelling because all his modelling stuff is going into boxes. Uh, he's running out of peanuts, loose fill, bean fill, whatever you want to call it. The little beans, Paul, aren't they? Here we go, here we go. He's like, yeah. Oh, the uh, polystyrene, yeah. yeah. Polystyrene beans, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go eat it. Okay. What's it? Uh, what's it? <laughs> However, uh, we've noticed while we've been chatting, and this is why I've actually started recording, uh, because we're chatting away, and then all of a sudden, James, who's on your main screen, goes, oh, have a minute, have a look at this. So I said, hold it, hold it. I might as well do a recording. Come on then, James, where are we up to? Oh, it's literally just started. I thought I was in the end of the road. Cheating. He's no, cheating. No, I know. You got yours together. <laughs> right, so <laughs> is, that, is that your full, is that the full length now? Yeah, that's the full length, yeah. That's that's quite the piece then. Yeah, it's uh, an old Take school. The piece. About 24 inches. 24 inches long. And what have you glued that together with? Just normal glue, super glue, what? To my extra thin. To my extra thin, just the regular old. Yeah, just the, my extra thin. Got my stand together. Let's have a look. Me stand. Right, okay. So does it go so on the stand will sit on. So that can sit on. Um, yeah. Got me, because I've got lots of these to do, me little well, funnel. Why am I looking off at the top? Why am I looking? I'm trying to look up at the top. What's in your tub? <laughs> right, Show me little bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got the torpedo racks in as well. I've done those. Very nice. Look at you. Yeah, but oh, that's, that's it. Going on? It's cracking on here, mate. But yeah, Mark, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, four sprues. Four spru what, for, what do you mean you've four got four, what, four sprues done? No. <laughs> four sprues. One, two. All oh, right. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Three, general four. fit. General fit. Are we looking? What's uh, general fit? All right. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the hole's one piece. I've had to stick the stern on. Um, yeah. That's a single. Is that the back? Um, Is that the back? Yeah, that's the back bit. Yeah, the blunt bit. Um. <laughs> uh, I think it's the exhaust these where is it there it is that's the exhaust yeah. the engines I've got two on this side one on that yeah. side because yeah. the engines you had two which face backwards yeah. and one that was facing forward because right, of the cool. space that was inside and it was all done on a some sort of duplex thing that um, reversed the drive so all the props out the back you know Tidy, mate uh, I've just reversed my camera, so now when I'm holding my right hand up, it's my right hand that's showing on screen. That uh, that will absolutely do me adding. Right, okay. So, so right, cracking on. Uh, Paul, you you have you've had a little play with your boat, haven't you? 
Yeah, I yes. am, mate. Yeah. yeah. And? Would you like to see it? Yeah, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's have a look. Put it on wide screen. <laughs> let's. Uh, uh, I've clicked the wrong bloody thing there. Look, let's get him on this one. No. <laughs> there we go. Come on. In fact, I'm still on chuffing wrong one. It's up, we should be on the other go. side, which is that way. That's it. Look at that. Yeah, it's massive. Jeez, that's enormous. Yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> Have you glued that together now then, Paul? No, I haven't actually, no. He spotted, it, didn't he? It's, it's, um... it's that big you can't even point, can you? Screw there. Yeah. yeah. Screw there. Yeah. And a screw. screw. There. One there, one, one there. there. And then you've got these these braces are like like a sandwich with a with a bolt with a nut in it. Yeah. And then there's bolts that's that go in like that. Yeah. Into each into each of them braces. Yeah. <laughs> And is that has that given it a lot of strength and rigidity? Oh then, yeah, yeah. Paul? To be honest with you, I you know I've only it's only I haven't completely tightened the screws up. I'm gonna glue that join as well anyway. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna glue. I'm gonna glue the keel. It's a keel. That's the keel. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Glue it's the going keel. all nautical on us. We like it. So yeah, I will, I will, I will glue it and then put the screws in and screw the screws home. They're not tight. They're not. They're not fully tight at the moment. Like so. Yeah. Okay. As you say, I was just having a play. I just wanted to see what it looked like, and it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah. it's it's looking all right though, mate, <laughs> isn't it? I, I'm I'm gonna be super happy with it. Yeah. You're gonna be super happy with it. Yeah, but like I said, you know, as people know, I'm I'm in the middle of a move now, like so. It's modelling has pretty much come to a stop. Yeah, mate. I think I'm, yeah. I may have about maybe two or three weeks left of hacking at models, if if that's a phrase, but it probably isn't. Are you? But obviously, yeah, I've, but... I've got to get packed stuff packed away more than I've got to add to it. You know what I mean? That's that's what I'm thinking because obviously when you move house uh but for the people that don't know uh paul's moving into a 10 bedroom luxury uh castle in uh oh. in, 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 in Cheshire. also known as a kennel <laughs> also known as a kennel but how, how frustrating is it going to be that when you get there and you start getting unpacked and everything and you go right here we go and there's a part missing yeah. Now, right now, I've already, I've already discussed this with the missus. Right. I said to her, if there is undercarriage, playing. if there's undercarriage come off, it's going in the skip. Right. If there is more than four parts off of it, it's going in the skip. Yes, but you put hour after hour into some of those builds. I know. It you won't go in the skip. It's going it in won't skip. go in the skip. I'm lying. <laughs> But it'll be a while before I get round to repairing them, though. If there's any damage, it'll be a while before I repair. Yeah, I can't think of a bigger mojo killer because, uh, I mean, we've displayed at shows before, and I'll tell you what, you'll get to a show uh, and you're taking your stuff out of your tub if there's like a fuel tank come off a tornado or a front wheel or something. You, you just absolutely... It, it's like yeah. you're almost... It's like you're almost destroyed inside that you've got to start fannying about, putting yeah. stuff back on. And you know, you, you know yourself. If you knock something off, it never goes back on no, as strong as it, is it, as no, it was no, first no. time round. You know what I mean? No, no it's no, probably no. you got to. You, you know, first time round, you glue it and it'll stay there and it'll hang in positions. After it's been knocked off, you've got to sit there for like ten minutes and and and. And it just stays soft, and you've got to keep wobbling it and jiggery poking it to get it to sit right. Yeah, or you super glue. Yeah, but I think I've I think I've done a pretty 
decent job of packing it. And like I've had a bit of a mess. So the the, the kit go in. I drop yeah. a few peanuts in, and I give the box a bit of a shake. So hopefully yeah. they'll settle in and go into all the nooks and crannies. And then I put right. a few more in, shake the box a little bit more, and then hopefully like achieve a, a sort of level layer of peanuts. Yeah. Then I put like a piece of cardboard in again, pretty much the same size as the box. Yeah, and then I put another kit in and do it again. So some of the yeah. some of the some of the boxes have got like maybe three or four pre-built kits and other stuff yeah. as well, like. But anyway, yeah. So well, yeah, uh, obviously, ob obviously, we are going to wish you the absolute very best of luck. I appreciate uh, with, it uh, with the move. Yeah. With, you know what I mean? Absolutely, I'm yeah. just looking. For I appreciate it, guys. Now. I do. Yeah, I think I, I think it'll be all right. I, I'm I'm confident. It's just it's just the time, and I just want everything to be done now. You know what I mean? It's like, you no. Know. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, know yeah we we I know when we do get into the very, new place, it's going to be a little, you know, it's you know, it's going to be, it's like a where I am now. It's going to be like a week, week or two of breaking down, and then yeah, a week or two of That's setting back up again, kind yeah. of thing. So it's it's a month after the hobby. Uh, while you're here, while we're doing a bit of a recording, shall we have a look at what's happening in Sesco? Shall we have a look? Yeah, go for it. Well, so let me, uh, you can see me head nights wobbling all over the screen, right? Because I'm actually yeah. looking for the button that says share my screen. Uh, and I'm going to click on to share with that. So hopefully you guys are now down the left with me. Uh, Sesco and Emsworth yeah, Community Scale Model Club. Let's have a little look. I just need to move a few tabs across <coughs> and see what's going off. So, what's going off? I don't know if you saw this post by Doug Tuck. Uh, no, but agree. follow the QR link uh, and out of our... Uh, let me just have a look. Glasses on, Mark. Glasses on. No, too far Power. away. Screen. Uh, Typo. Yeah, follow follow uh, the QR link and our very own Cray and Muncher, Craig Stinson, also has a mention. Now, if I if I click on that, yeah, that they should could be a little them, little they? bit bigger. Uh, they have. So uh, the comment there is uh, above. While posed shots of an aircraft with the various weapons it can carry. Uh, our de rigueur for promoting its capabilities. Sesco and Hemsworth Community Scale Model Clubs. Craig Stimson, what a shame. Yeah, what uh, a went shame. for a similar effect using a kit. Absolutely, I've been there before, uh, being yeah. misspelled on the name. Uh, similar effect using kit form services, one in 24, Scammel Crusader, EKA recovery vehicle. Instead of munitions, he supplemented the kit's recovery equipment with the same firm's accessory set to create this eye-catching display. Uh, and uh, absolutely cracking. Uh, if I can, can I zoom in on that? So I can, and I'm just going to drop it down a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, so, yeah, that one. And I think Craig put that into competition at Sesco. Uh, last year, absolutely yeah, mint is that, mate? Yeah, it's lovely. Lid no, is doing that. some steady progress. Uh, Mark, I'm not. You'll have to leave a comment on the YouTube, mate. Well, is that uh, is that the second scale Thunderbolt, Mark? I'm Come back up a minute, mate. It's a P47. It's a P47. It is it a P47, James? Yeah, it's yeah, a I think yeah. it is. It looks like it, yeah. It's bubble it is. It's the bubble canopy, yeah. It's the um, it look thing, like I think. It's scale at the side of the Tamiya's and it, the... Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I would say that's 37. He, he, he did mention it, Mark. He did mention he was building it. I think I commented on him and said, I don't think you've got anything to worry about with it. Except maybe the decals. That's right, yeah, because I had a nightmare with the decals on that. The stickers. You did. The you did. Decals. Decals. No, you were right with the decals, 
book. Yeah, yeah, yeah I had a nightmare with the stickers. Decal. But the one, the one that made me really it happy. Is. <laughs> uh, check, check, check it out. The first lady of C Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club yeah, is, well in done, this, is in this edition of Airfix Model World. Well done, Gene. Uh, and if yeah, I yeah, well done, Gene. Just click on that and make that bigger, like that. Uh, so, Gene Mayman's purple and turquoise saber model egg scale resin Angry Phoenix duo added a bright splash of colour to Sesco and Emsworth uh, Community Scale Model Club table, uh, and the smoke cloud was fashioned from airbrushed cotton wool. Didn't Georgie build um, one of them, Mark? Well, you built one for George, didn't you? We, I uh, you uh, one he George, he didn't built you? them both. He built them both. I painted one, uh, and he painted the other. Uh, Sean, right. throwing some more stuff under our noses uh, and, and looking at the price differences there from 100 quid down to 85 because we uh, obviously frequent club where Sean is invited to come and sell his wares. Uh, there's mine. Look, half a pint of Solon set, please, barman, because Jesus, that was a bit of a nightmare. Underneath... So the decal there. Let me just click on that, and I will just, just share you, share share you with, share with <laughs> you, <coughs> because down in that bottom corner there, you can see a tiny little crack. So the decal is from there. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can follow my mouse. From there yeah. up to there. So that's one decal, and the funny thing is, is this side came off the backing paper straight away. That side took half an hour to get yeah. off. It just would not budge. And then from where my cursor is there, that little piece, that's a separate decal. And then from there up, that's a separate decal. And if you look, it just drops inside where the, uh, the intake is and it just wouldn't go. It just wouldn't go at all. That was an absolute nightmare. Uh, Paul, I was going to shout you with that one. What do you think to that? Uh, well, yeah, I like cars. I mean, yeah, I like cars. In, I like cars in real life more than I like model kits, I think, if that makes any sense. I mean, yeah, it's it's obviously an Audi. I mean, nice. you know, real life, real life cars and model cars, it'd be... <laughs> Nissan Skylines all day. Nissan Skylines yeah. all day, mate. Well, that and there is, is a few. The, there is a few Skyline kits out there as well. It is. That's the Meng Audi R8, uh, and it does look tasty in that paint scheme. Uh, again, Sean is throwing us some Meng helicopters. Now then, I'm going to share this one that. with you because I tagged Graham Sanderson in this. Now, me and Graham have recently built uh, built the Zundaps, me and our Graham. And I came across this on Masterpiece at easily, easy underscore modelers underscore room. Uh, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to tag Graham in these because look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Nice. That what is do you nice. think to that, Paulio? That is superb. I've actually I've, I've built it myself, but I've I've done it out of the box. Oops. Look no, at look that well one. Exhaust it looks brilliant. Though. Yeah. yeah, that looks really really good. Even, 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 yeah, I'm gonna If you look towards the number plate, it looks like the number plate's even tie wired on. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not even oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. That is that is yeah. absolutely awesome. To be fair, well, to be fair, I mean, for no fairness about it. That is absolutely awesome, isn't it? Just I'm mean, like considering considering it is like it is a custom build. That shit, I packed it away. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's 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 originally it away, it's it's, originally it's, it's a ladies. Yeah, number plate yeah. tie tie wired on me. That's what yeah. they would have done in real life as well. They would have tie wired the number plate on. Yeah, they would. So yeah, that is no, it's great detail. God damn awesome. 
But yeah, Absolutely. that's that's it's a that's it's a lady's uh, World War Two triumph bike. Obviously yeah. done a custom build. He's even, even the helmet. That's a, that's cool. I don't know where my helmet's gone. I've lost my helmet. I because you get a you get a what, what was it? What was that uh, World War Two machine gun that the British Army had? Bang it was gun. like it, it had it was a Sten gun with it had the, had the gun, magazine yeah, sticking gun. out the side. Sorry, Sten gun. Yeah, is Sten that what gun. it was, Trev? Yeah, Sten gun. Because you get the Sten gun with it as well. But yeah, that's cool. That is like that is like really cool. Yeah, man. That is like really cool. Uh, so oh, thank Graham in that one. Uh, Chris is looking for a photo etch bending tool, and I've actually got him one off Bridgie. Uh, so a shout out to Bridgie. So because we do talk about Bridgie, he's not shy about it. Bridgie's had esophagus cancer. He's had his uh, radio and his chemo. And what day is it today? It's Saturday. So he went into hospital on Thursday, uh, and basically he's had a lung deflated. He's had uh, this part of his esophagus chopped out, and then he's had his stomach lifted up to reattach to his esophagus. It was a 10-hour operation for lad. Uh, but he's, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. I've spoken to Leanne today, uh, and everything is fine. Yeah, get the uh, good. good. Uh, absolutely of it, Moonfot lad. Uh, gonna chat about this one then. So, club merch will be available to purchase through Glow Family soon. Uh, once the page is set up, so we need you guys to come and do some modeling at the next meeting. And you can see there that I've chosen myself to, to what to model to model <laughs> it. what. what? Did, did that be about you know, step in there or what? What? What's up? I've chosen myself to do a bit of modelling there. Oh, I bet years ago, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you've been heavily photoshopped. Artificial intelligence, yeah, fuck that. I'm not having that on there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's you big enough for him. Uh, I know, post, mate. Post uh, so contains that's the, disturbing yeah, images. That's... Yeah, yeah, you don't want to say that. Uh, let's have a look at this one then. So, oh... Uh, so Sean sent me a message the other day saying, do you fancy something a bit different? And I'm like, yeah, I always fancy doing something a bit different. What you got? And he sends me a picture of this fire engine. Look at this. <laughs> it's a Revel kit. Uh, loads and loads of detail in it. There's the sprues. Uh, and it's a Schlingman. TLF 1625 1 in 24 Revel level 5 uh fire engine uh and he's doing that for 22.99 deposit uh, and then two monthly payments at 22.50 total 67.99 Chris Smith when you decide to have a, a tinker before bed and glue one side's exhaust on upside down no <laughs> Then have to remove <laughs> both stacks, break them in the process, and have to get on eBay and order another set this morning. Chris, we feel your pain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't ever We've do all done something uh, that's a little bit out of whack. Come on. There's the devil. Uh, Bridget has been commenting. going. Final touch-up. Yeah, I know you would like that one. So final touch-up, ladders and bungs and blanks fitted. Even managed to find some RBF tags too. So I'm going to open that up for everybody. Uh, so this is the last model that Bridgie completed before he's up. Uh, and he's done. Who knows all about Buccaneers then, James? You're a Buccaneer man, aren't you? No, I just I like them. I don't know anything about them, mate. But it's just a, the oh, look of you it. Know, I don't know much about them. I know they, they you know, they're obviously a Cold War, Cold War jet, you know. But, you know, they, I think they served in the Falklands as well, and, and possibly. In fact, Gulf War. Yeah, Gulf War, yeah. Yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. commissioned yeah. shortly yeah. afterwards, I think. Uh, but they are, they are I think it was, yeah. to be fair. I think they were around in, a, a, well, I think it's the 50s. Late fifties, they started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in development. Then, yeah, well, like I said, the Cold War. They, they were certainly. I think I'm pretty certain they could carry a yeah, nuclear so war. Yeah. There's a horch. Yeah. Yes, I think they could. I've got. 
I've got one of them. Martin's cracking on with the red leather seats and the watch. Watch, yeah. So I did, I did comment on it because I, yeah, I've, I've got there's me comment. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's what. Um, that's the triumph. You know, that yeah. bike you've just been looking at, that's that. Is that that's that one? That's, 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 the, what, um, that's what we've just been looking at, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. That's triumph. Yeah. Modified, isn't it? It's heavily modified from that. Yeah, definitely. And that's, that. That, I've built mine, well, similar to that, but it's packed away. I'd, I'd show you, but it's packed away. I don't need to get another bike. Yeah, they're not bad priced either, yeah, Mark. I, mean, I think that's they're obviously great. Great. You should get the red of the break. Uh, oh, here we go. Good. So, uh, how long ago is that? So, this is six days ago. Uh, yeah. Started. Let's blow that up for that ball. So, we're all having a go at James for starting his, but six days ago when Paul posted yeah. that on James. But, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I'll get him, oh, yeah, him, he's got ahead of him, us. Him, oh. him, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 wait a minute. I have no, not even no, no, no. any fucking glue, lad. I'm not even you know, using you know, it. You're cheating, sons. <laughs> now, <laughs> Slam, you never trust a scout. Is that the one, Trev? That's the one, Greg Cracking series. Absolutely Cracking. brilliant. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Can you give us a bit well, of insight into what we want to, you know, if I'm, what's it about then, Trev? What's the crack? It's about the B 17s fighting in World War II. Yeah, good cinematography, <laughs> good uh, good CGI and all that yeah, sort of stuff. Great CGI, yeah, great great it's Disney, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. It's Disney, so yeah, they pump everything into it. But and yeah, it's, it's really, it's, really good. It's quite harrowing in places. I mean, they pull no punches with it. I mean, it really shows you the terror that they had to face while they were up there. It is really scary what they had to face, but no, it's a cracking series. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Uh, Rue is built. Well, I'm saying he's built. He hasn't built, has he? He's got two sheep and a dog. Don't know what's going off there. And then we're back down to the last live stream. In fact, uh, yeah, we are. I'm just going to click on that one because James who's, James who's guesting with us tonight. And it is only yeah, a quick that's... chat. James, what we got? That's the S100. That's slightly How bigger big is than that Paul. in length. Uh, I think it was slightly 98. It's 98 or 99 feet. It's just under 100 foot. Wow. But they're, they're really, really dirty boats. Look how that torpedo is coming out of there. Yeah. Great rigging as well. Yeah, that's the easy line. Okay, you need you need to get that back down, James, and give us a nice slow. Uh, slow get it back down. Really get it in, get it in your cave on display permanently, so I can copy it. Oh, <laughs> mate, I can't. I can't put it anywhere in here. It would it would have to go sort of like up here, and I don't really want to put it up there because I'll bang my head on it and I'll knock it off and break the bloody thing. Ah, uh, it's no good. But that's uh, uh, that's the so got, um, Rebel well, Mark so. Seven. Yeah. Get yeah, that's the seventh second Mark Seven. Yeah. I yeah, gave I go gave go up on go. looking them, looking for them because they're two hundred fucking quid a pop. Made it's like nah. Yeah, fuck they that. are. But well, the 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 Mark Seven that it, that's the platinum kit. It comes with a wood decking. Yeah. And oh, yeah. They are really, really expensive. That's, the cheapest yeah. one I've come across yeah. is about 150 quid. Oof, but yeah. um, the mark that's the mark nine, and that I think you can get around about 70 80 quid for that. But they do do a, yeah. another just, mark I'm, seven. I'm probably, but, to be fair, James, I probably pay that, but I'm not I'm not paying fucking 200 quid for one. Oh, unless, no. No, unless I won the lottery. James. Yes. I've got a question for you. This gun. Yeah, that's an ADA. Now, obviously, yeah, but the question is, is obviously it went under the water. Yeah, well, what they've got, that, uh, although you can't see it, there's... You put the, a cap the barrel on. was actually capped. 
the end of the barrel was actually capped and they they've got a a line which they attach to the the mechanism of the barrel you know, the full length of the barrel but it was wound on so yeah they used to to keep it tight to keep it watertight it's all sealed in the end so yeah they they used to put the cap over the end of the barrel and then the the um the the rope or the fixing point would wrap around the barrel and then attach to the breech. I was going to say, how, how did it how did it stand up to the sea, the salty sea, and still work? Yeah. Well, it, it did work. That was the thing. I don't know what the hell they used to do to it, but yeah, it used what? to work. It's the same with the, the same with the um, the I, th I think they detached the machine guns that's on the conning tower. Yeah, but. Yeah, I mean to say that eighty-eight stayed on there all the time. Yeah, they were a bung they used to put in. And, and is that an eight? What's eighty-eight? Is that the calibre? Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. anti-aircraft gun. Anti-aircraft gun and an anti-tank. No, 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 it's not an anti-aircraft gun. No, that was no, the main. No, no, it was the anti-aircraft gun, but it's adapted. Yeah, the, the, the black eighty-eight. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. fired anything that James the eighty eight. Well, yeah, the, it was a, the eighty eight was originally used for flak. It was for aircraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Germans during um, Tunisia, I believe, they turned them down, and they were picking yeah, off our tanks. Tank, anti tank yeah, like as well. Three, four miles. You know, yeah. Yeah. the range on them are absolutely brilliant. One of the best, one of the best guns ever. Yeah, yeah. during World War Two. Very flat trajectory when they fired them. They hardly ended cool. up when they fired in the end. So yeah. So stop sharing the screen. So uh, everybody's happy. Uh, it's club next Saturday. What 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 we're we doing? Uh, Trev, you're not at club next Saturday, are you? You're going away for a day with Bill. I think we are. Yeah, we're off. I think we're off to go look at some steam trains or something. Some okay. choo choos. Tidy. Uh Paul, you're obviously uh, in the middle of moving house, uh, and James, you're cracking on with your boat. No. <laughs> uh, I just thought I'd throw a few bits together. <laughs> yeah, no. Sound, mate. Yeah, Sound yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. Yeah, cheating bastard. Okay. <laughs> hey, and, hey, and Nicole, mate, I've, still got, I've still got me, hang on. I've still got me tracks. Oh, I've still got me tracks to do here. Yeah? Just a, don't don't have track. Yeah, me tracks for me um hands are two. I've given them a base and given them a wash. And now it's just going to be um powders and oils and. Do you put them powders and oils on after you've attached them to the unit? No, I put them on before. Right, don't your fingers yeah. get all messed up and start rubbing powder and stuff off? No, no, mate, because it's all sealed afterwards. It'll be varnished afterwards. All right, so you put a varnish, yeah, so you put your powders and weathering stuff on it and then varnish it again. Well, to be perfectly truthful with you, hang on, if I do that, right, that is, that's all um, finished. That's literally finished, that one. Sorry. Right. That's literally Single. finished. That. So that's, that sits on, no, 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 it's fixed. No, that sits on the turret. Hang on. If I pull the turret out, it'll sit on the turret like that. Yeah. All um, right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got one. Hey. Uh, sits on. Hang on, if I put that down. And then I've got the other one that sits on the front there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 116. Yeah, that's 116. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that really is a nice kit. The what kit, kit is that, James? Kit. It's a Gecko's Gecko Models kit. Yeah, One's in and around the tank, it was one in thirty-five. But I do. I mean, I keep sitting here saying, "Oh, I've, to, to be honest, that oh, what I talking to other day? I talking to Paul the other day. <coughs> Sent Paul a message. I think maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, saying, "Where's my mojo gone? Because it's it's absolutely gone." Uh, yeah. We we will come back to the tank chat. Uh, my mojo was absolutely gone out at window because the tack on fork truck crippled me inside. Uh, yeah. It's been a difficult build doing the red arrow and the Spitfire because uh, because of who it's for. Uh, and every time I pick it up, it breaks me out. 
uh, and uh, and obviously the blackjack, it, it weren't. I, I've sort of swung out of favour with aircraft doing other things, which is why I end up buying the the MAS. I'm going to call it a Vosper, uh, which is why I built the ordered the Vosper. Uh, I've only built one one in thirty five tank. Uh, but I do fancy still doing another one, and I, and I love building the bike, and I built the bus, and just it don't. I, I'm getting to the thing where it don't have to have wings on it for me to enjoy it. No, it's, that's what I found. Um, if I think if you're stuck with one particular build, after a while it does. It just gets a little bit depressing, you know. So if if you mix it around a bit sometimes it does help you know yeah. it'll bring your mojo yeah. back because you've got yeah. you've got <laughs> easy builds you know and you've got quite hard builds and that forklift is just that would have gone in a bin mate do you know Honestly, what i'll tell you paul uh but it, obviously the box is a substantial box i've just noticed that trev's disappeared uh the box is a substantial box but even when i've got the unit out i put it inside of me mouse and yeah, it's, it's not very big, is it? It's as big as that, and I'm like, yeah. that. That's like, yeah, the amount know. of screw and everything yeah. else that you've got in there for a kit its size, it's just, yeah, it's just a zapper, mate. It really it is a zapper. zapper. If you get stuck like you have, yeah. you know, it's best to put it back in the box and then you save Mark, something you else. Well, as you say, Mark, you, you've you've always said like you've got to really want to build it. Obviously, you really well. It's not that you. I think you're being really wanted to build it, and it's 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 like it's. It's yeah, not lived up to what, the expectations what, what, of what I expected. Yeah, for. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But like you said, you know, it's you, you've gone at it. Like I really want to build it, and then it's disappointed you. Know, like so, it's like ah, uh, well, bollocks to it, kind bollocks of thing. Yeah, yeah can't, literally can't. Yeah, it's pretty. Literally put it down and then start something else. It's just unfortunate that the kits that you've started have been zapping as well, you know, with yeah, your right. decal for the red arrow and yeah. then with the typhoon as well. Do you know what, you know? though, with that, with the, with the, ta with the tack on fork truck, you know, I, I mean, I'm not kidding, James. I bet, I bet it's about four. Oh. Yeah, I think if it had been if it had been as big as that tub, you know, yeah, you big, right. tall yeah. with, with fork mechanism up front, I'd have been like, oh yeah. But because it's like a little dinky toy and it's it that literally ripped the heart out of me, I just couldn't be asked. Yeah. Uh, I've put it back in box. That's not to say that at some point it won't come back out because it probably will, but not right now. Not right now. Uh, Trev has disappeared. Uh, to say it's an impromptu recording, 42 minutes. Uh, we're going to stay on chatting, uh, but I am going to end the recording. Uh, let me just have a little look here. I'm going to pop Paul off for a second. I'm going to pop James off for a second. I'm going to take me up down. The tall guys are still there. They can see me. They can still hear me, but I've just taken them off back screen. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, it's not club day today, and I normally only do a recording when it's a club day so that we can have a little bit of a catch-up. Uh, but, but because I've been playing around with StreamYard uh, and because I've been messing around uh, on my phone doing that, trying to get an introduction for you guys with a countdown on, I just thought that I'd do a little bit of an impromptu recording. So whatever you're doing... Uh, don't forget you can add a comment onto the YouTube once it's finished and up and live uh, and whatever you're doing stay safe take care uh, and I'll see you next Saturday after the club okay uh, thanks a lot catch you later